Okay, so today's video has been sent in by Mike. Mike is at the water start stage, but is struggling to actually come out of the water and ride. What I'll do, I'll play the video through all the way so you can see what's going wrong, and then we'll go back and break it down frame by frame and really dive in on what you could do better. Okay, so nearly successful. Comes out of the water, kite looks like it's flying okay, but ends up with that dreaded skid at the end. And then as you can see, just collapses back into the water. So where does it go wrong? Well, let's have another look. At this point, everything looks, looks okay. You know, kite's nice in nice position. He's got his back to wind. Bar's a little bit far in, which doesn't help with what he's trying to do. Should have the bar out a little bit more. Just relax those shoulders, curl the shoulders up to force the bar out. Gives you a bit more control over the kite and more control over the power. One thing I would say at this point, which comes back to haunt him later, legs are a little bit straight. You want to be as small as you possibly can at this stage. You know, make yourself into a ball if possible, as small as possible. Why? Because the principle of leverage states, the smaller you are, the less power you're going to need to get yourself out of the water. Now, as we move the video forward, the real problem becomes apparent. Bar's still fairly far in, which is a problem because it means that now as he flies the kite, he's got no control over the power. Ideally, you would have the bar slightly out so that you can control the power. So you can squeeze on more power as you need, but let off more power as you need as well. So you've got more control over that power. However, the major problem comes as he starts to get out of the water. Now up to here, everything's good. He's compressing down. Shoulders could still be further forward here. Look what happens between these three frames. See how his legs suddenly extend. There all the way out. He's trying to stand up. Now this is a perfectly natural reaction for a human because since we were zero years old, you know, if we wanted to pull ourselves up, we would grab onto a table and heave ourselves up. We'd use our legs and our arms to pull ourselves up. And that's exactly what's happening here. As he comes up, he's yanking the bar in towards him there. So his arms have, he's bent, his, his shoulders and his elbows, sorry, have bent and he's pulling the bar back towards his nipples. That raises his center of gravity which means his, his head and shoulders go backwards and his legs shoot out underneath him. So his legs obviously straighten, which leads to that horrible skidding effect from there. So how could he prevent it? Well, again, bar out, because then you have more control over the power and you're not as likely to want to pull the bar in towards your nipples, but really, really, really compress. From there, that actually looks like he's going to make it at this point. That looks okay. If he bends those legs in even further at this point, he probably will, and, and that will eventually lead the board to go downwind as well. He'll carry that out. Here it's starting to go wrong. You can see his, his weight from his upper body has gone back. His legs are shooting out underneath him, and then he extends into it, and that's only going to end in one way. You have to think. Think about how a pro comes out the water again. Here, if he now rolls forward gently, so brings his shoulders forward, lets his legs compress up into him, he'll ride that out. And this is what we mean when we talk about when you water start, you do nothing. You know, you should be so relaxed that you just kind of flop onto the board almost. You know, it's a really, really slow roll. And you can see here from his body position here, there's quite a lot of tension. He's already tense, you know, he's tense. He'll be fighting back against the kite. That's never going to work. You've got to trust the kite to have the power to roll you out and then propel you forwards. So the key takeaways here, don't try and stand up. Let the kite do all the work for you. If you're interested in me coaching you through your learning to kite, so if we've put together a program which is designed to cut weeks, if not months off the time of it takes you to learn to kite surf and it, this is a part of it mike is one of our students on this and one part of the course is that you can send me videos of you learning to kite and i will critique them like this so if that sounds like something that would be useful for you there's a link underneath this video it will take you over to another video which will explain exactly what that's all about and I hope to see you on the inside, guys. It would be great. We've had some really good results with this. You know, people are flying through. We're getting some rave reviews. And it would be awesome to see you on the inside. As always, guys, if you like that, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video.